Hey, it's Eden from A Moment of Zen, and I am going to answer another question that I get asked in the shop fairly often. As a matter of fact, the past, I mean, today's Wednesday, so I was only here yesterday and today, but the past few days that the shop was open, I've gotten the same question, so I thought, let's answer it in a video. So, the question has to do with incense. Um, I just happened to grab two two packages that were randomly, you know, back stock. Huh. I just grabbed two packages of incense, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so people want to know, what's the best incense for whatever they're trying to achieve? It's usually some sort of calming or relaxation incense, um, but it's not always the case. Some people want to know, you know, does the incense have power? Is it, does it have a meaning? And here's my answer. And, and hold on one second, because I'm also not talking about granular incense that you would burn on charcoal. Um, that's a whole other story. Let's just stick with with the sticks. Stick with the sticks. Uh -huh. So, your sense of smell, scent, is a very powerful thing. And think about it for a minute. When you smell something, let's say the smell of fe fe <laughs> fresh baked bread, it smells, not everybody thinks it smells delicious, but most people are like, mmm, that smells so good. Or if you smell something that brings up a memory, um, oh, that smelled just like, you know, my grandma used to make cookies and this is how her kitchen used to smell, whatever, you know what I mean? Your scent has a powerful tie to your state of mind, in my opinion. So if I were to say to you, oh, you want something relaxing, well, lavender is a calming and relaxing smell, and you say, I hate lavender, well, then don't buy lavender because it is going to annoy you. My answer is, Forget about the names on the incense. Forget about the labels, because some of them have like cutesy names like meditation and Om and Nirvana, which they're all great, but if they don't smell good to you, if they don't put you in a good mood when you smell them, I don't care what the label says it is. It's gonna distract you. Fortunately, for you, if you come into the shop, I do carry um, samples of, of the sticks of both of these brands um, of incense. So you could always try it before you buy it, but that's not what this is about. The whole point is, um, if you reference different books, like um, let's say you're doing some sort of spell work or energy work and different books say, um, you know, frankincense does this and patchouli does that and dragon's blood does this and you don't like the smells of those things remember that the magic is coming from you it's your energy it's your vibration it's your thoughts it's your beliefs that's what's the magic that's the magic the stuff like incense it's just an aid it's a tool to help you focus Yes, different plants have different frequencies, and so different smells have different frequencies to them. But, when you compare them to the frequency of your thoughts, the power of your mind, they don't compare because you are much stronger. If you hate the smell of lavender, and I say light this lavender incense and go meditate, and you're sitting there going, this stinks, I hate the way this smells, I can't stand it, why did I buy it? You're not meditating, you're complaining. See what I'm getting at here? So, once again, I am not gonna give you a satisfying yes and no clear cut answer because I don't feel like there is one. Some people may argue that with me and that's fine, you are entitled to your opinion. I'm just telling you what I believe, what is true for me. I happen to love the smell of sandalwood, um, which is funny, that's, that's what I grab. It happened to be right easily accessible I love it I love the way it smells um, so for me that's it's not only is it relaxing if I want to relax but it it's it's joyful because it makes me happy when I smell things that smell good that makes me happy
So the <laughs> long and short answer is you need to smell it and find out for yourself how it makes you feel when you smell those things. Okay. Um, briefly about the stuff with the granulated incense. Um, a lot of people, especially in like um, Wiccan communities where they like to do spell work, they like to craft their own incense by the different uh, energetic properties of different things. And in that case, where the belief that the, the energetic properties of these different ingredients is going to produce a desired outcome, well then, by all means, follow the recipe. But just remember that if it stinks, don't let the stink distract you from your goal. And that really stands for any of it. Um, if, you're, if you wholeheartedly believe you have to buy a certain stick of incense because you read somewhere or somebody told you this particular scent is going to be the one you need and your belief is strong enough in that, then, then do it. But just don't let the smell be your distraction. Let the smell, let the scent be an aid to whatever you're trying to accomplish. All right. Once again, I've rambled on way longer than I intended to, but I hope this information was helpful and that you um, can apply it in, in your life. <laughs> okay, go find something good to sniff and have a great day. I'll see you later.